My name is Dustin Williams and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life. Racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. Starting today's video out on a little parts run for the EG. We're starting here at Auto Power Industries in San Diego, which is really, really cool. And we're actually picking up our cage for little EG. This is gonna help out so much. And we have a lot going on at the shop today. So luckily Auto Power is really local to us and it's really convenient. I had no idea. And we're gonna need a cage for the R32. So this is actually pretty awesome. But we are back for episode number two on the EG build and we are absolutely loving this thing. And I'm so happy that you guys are too. We're gonna head to the shop and show you what we have going on for today. So as you guys can see, we have a lot going on in the shop for the EG, but that's for a later video. Specifically in today's video, we have a lot of the interior bits that we're gonna be doing, something that I'm most excited about. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you guys know how much I love interior and driver mods, and that's specifically what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, we have the auto power roll cage, as you guys saw, and we also have a Brid Lomax carbon fiber seat that we're gonna be installing today as well with harnesses, of course. To start out today's video, we are gonna be tearing out the interior of this car roll, everything that we need to tear out for the roll cage so that we can start installing that. But before we get too deep in today's video, if you guys haven't watched episode one where we installed the spoon exhaust and the KW coil lifters, definitely check those out. Also, do me a huge favor. If you guys are enjoying the EG build and all the rest of the videos on the channel, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel and the more likes that we get on the videos, the more YouTube helps to push the videos and we can grow, reach that 600K and even a million. So help me out, do that for me and also subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, Tim Bro is gonna work on getting the rear seats out here and I'm gonna go ahead and knock out getting the driver's side seat out. And that's really all that we have to take out. Do we have to do these, these uh, plastic panels back here, Tim? Yeah, because the bar goes back on the... Okay, so we gotta do those too. That's a big ass window. Oh. Let's see it, Timbro. Here you go. You want this? <laughs> Hopefully, this reduces the smelliness in this car because this is quite a smelly car here. Wait, wait, wait. You're stuck right here. There you go. Windows. Oh, it's pretty nasty. The stains on these seats. <laughs> Boom. Man, it's pretty bare in here. Oh, this is really nice. There's no carpet back here, so no. like you don't have to really. I guess we'll have to peel it right here, right? Oh yeah, you just pull this back, and then the cage bracket sits here and all you need to do is put a slit and it goes around it. Oh, look money. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep these plastic panels yet. I want it as like clean and simple as possible. And I'm gonna see what it looks like without the plastic panels because ideally I would like to maybe like dremel out a little hole where the cage goes through so we can keep the interior. I think that would be really cool. Make it look super clean, but yeah. we'll see how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and get these backings out and remove the plastics and then test fit the new cage. Oh, Tim, pull her out, brother. It's rusty as crap, that's why it's stuck. There you go. So, in case you guys are wondering how to get your hatch seats out, uh, there's a little C-clip that's connected to the side right here. It's right here. Yeah, yank that C-clip out and move your seat to one side and these will just pull right out. Pretty simple, and there's tons of room in here to like actually work with the cage, so that's really, really nice. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we have EG rear seats in case anybody needs them for their car. Here we go. Let's throw. Oh, it's 
Stock seats out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am like such a little kid working on this car. I'm just so excited. Tim is currently removing the OEM seat belts that we no longer need anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the plastics to get this out so that we can start throwing the cage in. Take a look here. I like the raw look. It looks pretty freaking cool. I'm not cage, gonna lie. The cage bolts right here. I'll take a look at what it looks like once the cage is in here, but it does look really cool, I think. Maybe I'll do a little poll on Instagram right now to see what you guys think. Well, you have interior to... or no interior. Okay, let's pull her out. Nice. OEM plastics are out. Timbro, are we ready to test fit the cage here? These speakers were not supposed to be in here. Really? Those are those are aftermarket? Someone, oh, they tap screwed them. Somebody just added them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna be bumping on the track though. You know, they oh, did they, a, did. they did! Oh good my god! Job, you know, that's so funny. They literally tap screwed it. That's why it sounds really good in here. It's so funny. Now it'll sound even better. <laughs> I only went with the four point cage. I figured the six point would be a little bit too much for like a daily driver car. Uh, the four points would be perfect. Not gonna add too much weight and it gives us everything that we need, especially rigidity with the actual chassis of the car. It's gonna be so much better. So we're gonna go ahead and start mocking everything up. So first things first here guys, Auto Power is really awesome. It gives you all of the materials and all of the hardware that you're gonna need. Even these little brackets that mount to the chassis of the car. We have to full sand and drill through the actual body of the car here, like Tim is doing. And we will actually screw these guys underneath the car, which will chassis mount the cage to the interior to the bottom of the car. Very, very secure, very, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead, draw the holes, uh, mock everything up. And once we have all of that drilled, you guys actually made the executive decision and, and we are full sending on putting the interior back. So we gotta put the interior in there. <laughs> we are gonna do the interior pieces now. Tim went ahead and got all of the holes drilled for the mounting plates. Now we can actually start mocking up these little interior pieces and seeing where we have to cut for the bar. Here you go, Tim. Once again, thank you to Grandmaster Tim with the flawless cut for the interior. I have to say I'm very happy that we decided to do the interior because it does look a lot cleaner back here. I thought like, I'm actually really happy with that. Tim, would you like to see him the fitment here? Oh, did you already put the, the bar in? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh. look at that. Oh, it's so close. That it's, is awesome. It looks really good, actually. It does look really good in you here know, with interior. I, I was had, right. I had doubts. Tim, Tim was like, no interior, no interior. Listen, I'm, I'm you know, I was Tim. born in 84. <laughs> So this stuff right here always came out. This yeah. and the air conditioning. I think it looks a lot better with the interior. I'm super, super happy. So now all we gotta do is bolt this bad boy up and the cage is fully installed. All right guys, so there are our bolts for the chassis. And here's the plate right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, here, let me actually uh, tripod this here. Yep. Good to go. First bracket's down. That's actually really, really easy and convenient. Now we just gotta do the other side and then do underneath the car. We're good to go. Big reveal, 
the cage is complete and it looks absolutely freaking sick definitely kanjo vibes with like the, the gutted rear seats but we also did the panels right here and i think it looks super super clean i'm so hyped on how good that turned out let's check it out from the front here oh my god i am so in love with this car so next up and finally we can do the bridge racing seat now which is going to complete the interior i think it's gonna look really nice and we have a sparkle harness to go in as well not only i'm am i excited because the cage is sick but also the rigidity of the car uh, while driving this thing with the cage is going to be insane too so here we have the Brid Lomax. This is actually the new version with the carbon backing. And I didn't realize this, but it like comes like, like leather and kind of like a carbon material right here. It's very, very nice and look oops, and looks really sick as well. And I like all my seats super tight fitting, which this one is as well. So this is a non-adjustable seat bracket too. So this is a non-sliding seat bracket. So I'll be able to adjust it once it's in the car and then it will stay mounted and set as is, kind of like we have for the S2000. But this is really gonna set off the interior of the car here. Push your back, Tim, bro. Oh God, here she comes. There we go. Now time for the seat in. It is the next day. We had some stuff going on yesterday, so we weren't actually able to finish the seat, but we did get the cage finished. So this is a continuation, and we are gonna be installing the seat and the harnesses today. And then we can go for a test drive. This thing's gonna be freaking rad. So, like I said yesterday, um, the seat rails that we have are non-adjustable until like once you bolt it all in. So we're gonna go ahead and test fit me in here and then get the harnesses all strapped up and ready to go. And this thing is just hard mounted in. How's it feel? What do you think? I think it feels good. I think like this is the exact spot. I'm gonna have an issue getting in and out of the car with the steering wheel. Um, Cause on the S2K we have like a quick release system and they didn't have anything in stock for the EG. So you trapped. But I'm in here. It feels good. Is How's it my straight on? Is it crooked? I think it is. It's straight on. Um, I'm not reaching for the pedals. I'm not reaching for like uh, the shifter, so I think we're good. All right, I'll go ahead and bolt her down for you. Suck me in. This feels good. And we do have a steering wheel coming in uh, pretty soon, so you guys will see that in probably two videos from now. Time for harness. All right, so now that we have our seat measured up and it's good to go, this is exactly where I want to sit for when I'm on the track. Uh, we're going to go ahead and measure up all of our harnesses now. Uh, I did do a six-point harness, just like in the S2000. So right now we're figuring out the crotch strap right here, which I want right on my belly button. So Tim's back here marking out where, where the harnesses need to go through the firewall. So we are drilling more holes in the car to mount the side straps and the crotch strap right here too. His crotch belt is right here so i need to drill two holes here and there so i'm gonna mark the other one the other one's gonna go right on the other side and then we'll drill the holes after we take the seat back out boom let's do it All of our harness eye bolts are now in the car. Tim is underneath the car right now, uh, screwing these into the chassis, and these are actually good to go. This is awesome. How's it going down here, Tim? Good, man. This is so dangerous for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall. It's not hanging any further than the other one, so it should be good. Oh, look at that. She looks good, guys. This is gonna be awesome. Nice. Perfect. All right, so we are in the final touches for the interior of the car right now, well, for today's interior of the car. Uh, Tim is currently adjusting my harnesses for me right here, making sure everything's strapped in and good to go. We have both side and crotch harnesses already done. Now it's just time for the shoulder ones and we can actually take this thing for a little test drive. One thing
thing that is really cool that we actually did too is we kept the stock seatbelt. So when I want to drive this on the street, it's not going to be super annoying and it's obviously safer. But already me and Tim were talking about this before we started filming. The car feels so much different with the cage in here now. And like I always say when I get a bucket seat and stuff, the, 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 the way the car drives, I mean, not necessarily the car itself, but like the way you feel in the car driving is just so much better. And uh, for me, it gives like more response, I guess. Does that make sense? But yeah. Dude, it's so much different than my S2K. <laughs> Just fucking send it right into the corner, dude. It's so funny. Oh. Dude, this car feels awesome. Like, it feels like it's rock solid with that cage in it. Like, it me, and Tim, feel me and Tim really are like going like on bumps and stuff and like even getting out of the driveway, the car like, you know, turns a little bit and it just feels like it's all one big brick. It's so nice. If that makes sense. All right, we're going to send it here. Next up, we get tires. That's a, it's like going to be such a fun car just to like rip around like this and go on the track with. I mean, the whole goal is to be able to drive to and from the track, go on toge runs and drive this thing every day. And that's what this thing's set up for.